Why is Milo so mean to Powder? Even though it's clear that she is young and does mess up sometimes, Milo really just never lets up. It's cruel. But in Arcane, even the cruelest characters demonstrate to us that there's a vulnerability behind everything. With Milo, I think it's clear that without Powder, he's the weakest link in the group. It's really a middle child dilemma. He's pretty far behind the eldest, but no one pays any attention to him because of the youngest. Everything he says is either a boast or noise for the sake of noise just so people won't ignore him. And we see him doing this in other ways too, literally making noise just so that people pay any attention to him at all. Even the graffiti is his plea to be noticed, to leave a mark to be seen. Arcane explores this theme of inferiority with all of its Undercity characters, but with Milo, it's a real fear of annihilation. He feels he's close to basically not mattering at all to the world, not existing. He comes from this place where people have a hard time not just surviving, but really making anything of themselves. And he's not good at anything. He's not very smart, not very strong. And he does die young. He is annihilated, and his fears come true. Except, ironically, it's his desperate, noisy, annoying pleas for relevance and importance that win him life beyond the grave. So he really does get what he wants in the end. He leaves his mark, even if it's not how he envisioned it or how he ever would have wanted.